Yo, what is going on, guys? Thank you for joining me again here for another episode at Exploit Academy. In this video, we're going to look at generating undetected PowerShell backdoors by using a tool called Hoaxshell. Now, as of recently, Hoaxshell actually started getting detected by Windows Defender. However, we're going to use a third party tool to modify our PowerShell backdoor that is generated by Hoaxshell to make it undetected by all antiviruses, including Windows Defender. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so I'm inside of our lab environment created in VMware, and I have two machines open for this example, one being Kali Linux acting as our attacker box, of course, and then I have Windows 10 being our victim machine. Now, I'm aware Windows 11 has been out and released and is the most current OS and all that. However, it does work on Windows 11. It's been tested, tried and true. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's Windows 11, Windows 12, Windows 13. Um, Modifying payloads is the same across the board. It's something that'll be future-proof uh, for quite a while. And it's a, it's a good thing to know. It's, it's a discipline in itself, but understand it doesn't matter what Windows OS you are targeting. It would work the same way. So with Windows 10, I have it fully updated and patched, and I have all the security options enabled on the victim, as you can see here. So this machine is pretty locked down and should be pretty secure, right? Um, wrong. <laughs> so you're going to want to download AMC trigger is the first thing you're going to download, which generally I would download that on a separate windows host. You don't want to run this on the victim, um, because you're basically going to play around with AMC trigger and your PowerShell payload to try to figure out what windows defender doesn't like. And if you are doing that on the victim machine, you're probably going to trigger a bunch of alerts and you're probably going to make a bunch of noise. So you don't want to do that necessarily. You're going to want to do that on your own host and make sure everything is smoothed out and that the payload is undetected before you launch the payload on the victim machine. But because this is just an uh, educational example, I'm going to do it on the Windows 10 victim, um, you know, just for the simplicity's sake. So download AMC Trigger. You can find it right here. I'm also going to put the link in the description below. Uh, as you can see here, you can compile this as a C-sharp program, or you can come over to the latest release and just download the binary here. So you can do that, get that on whatever host you want to practice on. And then on Kali Linux, you're going to want to download your hoax shell, which I already have open right here. So you can find that at GitHub slash Telemachus slash hoax shell. Again, I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can visit that. And then you're going to want to, you know, download the zip or just download it through the terminal. Either way, make sure you download hoax shell and get it installed on your machine. Okay. So now say you downloaded hoax shell, we're going to go ahead and play around with it. Right? So if I do LS, you can see we have a hoax shell folder. I'm going to navigate into that by CD hoax shell. If I can type. And then do ls to list the contents and we can see right here we have hoaxshell.py fantastic i'm gonna go ahead and clear out the terminal and we're gonna run the script so i'm gonna do hoaxshell.py now tac s this is tac s means server so this is going to be your attacker ip address um i know mine is that ip right there but i'll show you how to get that you can do ip a and then we can see right here this is my kali linux ip address so I already know it. I'm just going to type in 192.168.232.131. Tack R for a raw payload. Tack H for header. And I'm just going to put in authorization. And then go ahead and run the script. And two things are going on here. One, it gives you a raw PowerShell payload right here. And then the other is it creates a listener for this payload. And again, this listener is unique to this payload. So you don't want to close hoax shell and accidentally think that, you know, oh, I'm just going to start up another hoax shell listener and see if it'll catch my first payload that it generated. It won't. It has to be the payload that goes with this shell, if that makes sense. Okay, so great. We have our first 
payload generator right here. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna bring it over to our Windows 10 victim. Again, this could be your own Windows 10 machine. It doesn't have to be your victim machine. Ideally, it wouldn't be. <laughs> uh, and go to downloads. And then I'm going to go to the same directory I have anti trigger downloaded. And then I'm gonna create a text file. And I'm gonna paste that payload in that text file, save it as a PowerShell script. I'm gonna call it something very sneaky like payload.ps1. Nobody would ever guess. Save it as all files and save that. There we go. So we should have our payload PowerShell script right here. I'm gonna delete that text file. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and run AMC trigger and see what it doesn't like about the payload before we even modify it, right? Let's see if it even detects it. So I'm gonna hold shift, right click in the downloads directory. I'm gonna open PowerShell here. And then I'm gonna run Uh, let's see, AMC trigger, tack I, and then let's do our payload's name, so payload.ps1. Okay, so AMC trigger, tack I, and then the name of your PowerShell script, and then press enter. And let's see what it says. Okay, so it doesn't like this bit of the payload, so what's inside these double quotes right here. So it doesn't like the tag headers at authorization all the way down to utf bytes tag join. Okay, so we need to modify that bit of the payload. So I'm gonna right click on our payload. I'm gonna open it up with notepad and then I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see it a little bit easier. Okay, so it doesn't like tag headers authorization all the way down to utf bytes. Boom. Okay. It doesn't like all of that basically. So what can we do to modify this that so that, that it acts in a way where it doesn't get detected by Windows Defender? Well, there's basically three different options you can do. Um, the first one being you can modify the variables. So you can see it has says anything after dollar sign is a variable. Uh, dollar sign I, I could change that to like X for example, everywhere in the script. So that would change that. Um, you could use uppercase and lowercase letters. So see how it says use basic parsing right here. I could type in use in all caps and then change this S to in all caps like that. And then I can make this P a lowercase like that. That's something you can do. And then you can also add single quotes throughout some of the commands. Let me show what I'm talking about in a separate uh, PowerShell window. If I, in this PowerShell window right here, if I were to type in dir for the directory command and press enter, you can see that it works just fine, right? If I were to type in D and put a single quote, single quote IR, it works just the same. But you can see it's a whole different command, right? It looks way different. So um, the byte count is also different on this command than it is on this. So that is something to also keep in mind as well. And usually that method works very well. So let's go ahead and enter some single quotes kind of throughout that piece of, of our payload that, you know, AMC trigger says Windows Defender wouldn't like. Uh, so let's go ahead and where it says, let's find some variables. So we got C equals invoke web request. Let's go ahead and throw some single quotes in there. Uh, let's see, headers, authorization content, C, R equals IX. I'm gonna throw a, some single quotes in that variable. Uh, stop, error variable, out string, input object. I'll come throw some single strings in there. Invoke web request, throw some in there. And then let's try that. Let's go ahead and save that for now. So we didn't really do anything crazy. We changed some upper lowercase characters here um, and then threw some single quote strings inside of some of these commands, as you can see here. So we kind of just injected a little bit of a little bit of text. That's basically all we did. So we'll go ahead and save that. I'll go ahead and run that same command again. And then boom, it's already undetected. <laughs> you can see right here, AMC result not detected. So that means it's not triggering Windows Defender. So let's go ahead and run our payload. So to do that, I'm gonna open it up in Notepad again. And then I'm going to copy our newly modified payload. And then I'm gonna paste that in the victim machine and then hopefully we should get a shell on our Kali machine. 
So we'll go ahead and paste it by right clicking. If it lets me, it's not letting me. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can copy it again. Copy, see if it does it. No, okay, well let me close that and open PowerShell again and then see if I can paste it in that way. Edit, paste, paste. Okay, I don't know why, <laughs> I really don't know why it's not one to paste. It's being very weird. Really? Will it paste in anything else? Um, let's see if it'll paste inside a new document. Okay, okay, that's weird. Um, glitch. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not let me paste terminal. Uh, control V. No. Okay, let's try it again. Copy. Boom. Okay. Sorry about all that. <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't let me paste. Okay, so that is our modified PowerShell string right here, right? Our PowerShell payload. Let's go ahead and execute that on a victim machine and then see if we get a shell on our Kali box. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute it. It looks like it's running, it's flickering. Um, sometimes you'll get an error down here that's, that's irrelevant. Uh, as you can see right here, boom, we have a shell on our victim machine uh, on users John Doe in the downloads directory where we executed our PowerShell script. And you can see if I type in hostname, that this is the Windows 10 PC. And if I do LS, you can see that we have the AMC trigger executable right here, as well as our payload. So we do have a shell on our victim machine. And not just a shell at that, we have an undetected shell. And as you can see here, that we have all of the security options enabled, and we still have a shell running on our victim machine. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you found this information useful, and I don't really wanna drag this out too much longer, but uh, again, I appreciate all of you guys very much, all of your comments, your, your support to my channel, it's greatly appreciated and it is noticed. I always reply to my comments if I get them, and again, I just can't thank you guys enough for showing your support. So, if you found this video useful, Please like and subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and I'll see you next time here on Xbox Academy.